Good morning. Welcome to an unedited vlog. I honestly was not going to upload today because as you're watching this, I am relaxing in Pennsylvania with my family. We're at a cabin. We're kayaking, reading my book, like chilling. And so I was like, we're coming home on Tuesday. And I was like, eh, let me just not upload. And then I was like, I can do an unedited vlog and like get this ready. Today is Wednesday so like if I just throw all the footage together and get it ready to upload for next Tuesday I can definitely do that for you guys so dedication is real welcome to an unedited vlog today is splish splish I'm so excited it's a water park here on Long Island been going since I was a little kid and I really wanted to go this summer so we squeezed it in this week Zane is coming with me and I can't wait so first we're prepping we're gonna pack our bag together I'm taking my morning supplement I'll be right back First things first, obviously my face is so puffy. <laughs> I'm not putting on any makeup because we're going to literally a water park, so absolutely not. I did put on some glow screen from Elf. I don't know if I have it here with me right now. Um, hold on, let me go grab it and I wanna show you. Here it is. This is um, some sunscreen glow stuff that they sent me in a pure package. And I actually feel like it made my face look really nice. I'm gonna ice roll in the car, so I'll probably bring it with me and reapply so that is definitely going to go in the bag but first at the bottom of the bag i have this giant tote from abercrombie that they sent it's perfection for today so we're gonna bring two towels for after when we get back in the car we're not gonna bring them with us in the water park but for when we get back in the car if we want to you know sit on them whatever so those are going at the bottom of the bag oh actually you know what i should stand them up because they're taking up a decent amount of space Please hold. <laughs> then I'm just bringing an outfit for later if I feel like gross and wet and I want to change for the car ride home. It's like a 45 minute car ride. Definitely need the chub rub stuff. I will apply that. When we get there, I'm gonna bring the glow screen. I need to get my sunscreen too. I'm gonna put that in there. And of course, I have not bled since like December because of my old birth control, but now I'm spotting today. So we're bringing these. <laughs> um oh and then also ordered these on amazon yesterday literally paid like three dollars to get them quicker because i forgot that i wanted them but i got zane and i waterproof pouches for our phones so we can take some videos which is going to be quite interesting on an unedited one if i end up this is not good do as i say not as i do um, if I end up getting like a really long, boring clip on accident, I won't make you guys sit through it. I will uh, chop off at least like the end or the beginning for like the funny part. So I might uh, cheat a little on the rides if I get some clips because I want you guys to have to sit through a five minute clip of my phone underwater. Like, like that's not fun to watch, you know? Also, I'm going quickly because we kind of were supposed to leave already. So here we are. Um... Perfect, so here's our little pouches. Um, my plan is I think that we should just go into the park with like nothing, just our phones. And like some money to eat food. Okay, I didn't realize there was two here. Hopefully our phones fit in this. This looks tiny. Uh oh, wait, wait. our case has to come off probably. Okay, here we go. See? Now you can get some videos for you guys. <laughs> okay, BRB. All right, two last things before we go. Number one, our grateful. So let's write them down. Today is August 9th. We are grateful for a splish, splash day with Zane. Benji, get off the counter. We are grateful for no extensions today. This is gonna be nice. And we are grateful for my big tote bag coming in clutch. That's the greatness for today. And then, last thing I wanna pack before we go is my hair girl Abby suggested that before getting your hair wet, 
in like pools, lakes, oceans, which I guess aren't as damaging, but just before getting your hair wet, if you want to like preserve it a little bit better, she's like, whenever I go somewhere, I just bring a water bottle and before I go in that water, I wet my hair. Like pour water all over your head, wet it, and it almost acts as like a little bit of a project protective barrier. So I'm gonna fill this with some water and hopefully, and I'm gonna dump it on my head, like in the parking lot before we even go in. I know, I don't know, I'm almost like, I can't even think right now because I want to go. Okay, I'm going to fill this. I was going to do the fresh water in here, but then I'm like, that would be literally so cold. So I'm going to do some like warm water from the sink. Beautiful. Okay. All right, we are ready to go. Let me get you a little fit check here. I'm wearing this top from Abercrombie. I'm wearing these Amazon Sunnies. I don't wear them that often. So like if they get lost, I won't care that much. But of course, now that I'm wearing them, I'm like, they're kind of cute, but it's fine. I'm bringing a scrunchie and a um, clip just in case I want to clip or scrunchie my hair. I might even just leave it down and wet. We'll see. And then this is the new swim skirt that I just got from Amazon. Loving it. I think it's so cute. I feel comfortable in it. I'll be able to move around, eat, not worry about anything. It's got the shorts underneath, so we're doing good. Um, and then I'm just wearing Haviana flip-flops. Trick is when you go on the rides, you just go like this, and you can hold your shoes on your wrist. So that's perfect. Um, yeah, that's my fit. I'm not going to wear the belt bag. I'm just going to bring my phone. And then got our goodie bag here full of all our stuff. I'm going to set up our phones once we get there, put on sunscreen. Um, I'm not wearing my ring because Zane and I were like, eh, I probably shouldn't do that. So I just put on like a random ring on that finger so I don't feel naked. I got to get like a fake one on Amazon for stuff like this and travel. Um, phone, full sippy, and my ice roller. Ready to go. Woohoo! Splish splash, I was taking a bath. All right, Zane wanted to make a little pit stop at Dunkin'. So we're going to get a little bite before we go and then we'll get lunch a little later at the park. Dunkin' Donuts haul. What'd you get? I got a iced coffee with vanilla mm. and a sausage egg and cheese croissant. Wow. I'm What'd usually, you get? I'm usually a Dunkin' Donuts hater, but they wanted to go, so I was like, you know what? Let me give it. Let me give it a go. The croissant is pretty good. I've had that before, but I usually. Oh, what is this? Oh, this is my wake-up wrap. Yeah. Oh, it's teeny tiny. <laughs> I've had this before and it's pretty decent. I just got egg and cheese and it's on like a little tortilla. <laughs> they put ketchup packets in there? Sometimes. Oh, it's perfect because I'm not that yeah. hungry. And then we can have a lunch in a few hours. And Anymore. I was tempted. I got a glazed donut for us to share. And I usually think that their donuts are dry and not that good. But it's actually pretty soft. I'm intrigued. Nostalgic. No, I feel like you've come here with too much expectation. Yeah, it's just Dunkin' Donuts. But that's false because I go. To, I like Starbucks frozen stuff. You know what? You're just a Dunkin' hater, uh -uh. so I'm trying to tread carefully here. Like, like level yeah. your expectations. Like, it's not gourmet by any I any just stretch. think that we live on Long Island and we shouldn't get their bagels. Like oh, Dunkin' would, Bagel? Yeah. Like, oh, absolutely. Why would you get yeah. a Dunkin' Bagel when you have Long Island Bagels, you know? Yeah. Okay, anyways. On the road again. We're going to get there like 10 minutes after they open, so it'll be perfect. We'll park. We can make our way in. Now we already ate. It's going to be so fun. <laughs> splish, splash entrance. You see it? Oh, wow. So exciting. Yay, we made it. All right, we just sunscreened up, got like the phone case and everything ready, and now it's time <laughs> to dump the water on my head. <laughs> this is so silly, but if it protects my hair, I'm here for it. Ready? <laughs> I should dump my head this way, right? Yeah, you want me to help you? Yeah, go for it, that'll be fun. Just slowly so I get my whole head wet. Okay. <laughs> So this is like gonna protect you against all the chemicals and shit? You're just, she said to wet your hair before you go into the water. Interesting. Okay, Try now. Do no, I'm kidding. <laughs> now go this way. 
Are you doing it? Yeah, hold on. Oh. Oh, did I miss? <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. There you go. I'm about to get all wet anyway. <laughs> the girl's looking at you, she's like, what is she doing, She's Bob? like, why is she doing that? <laughs> all right. She's protecting her hair. Protecting my hair. All right, we're ready to go. Splish splash, cheers. Look at my little pony so. Wet rat status. We're on our way, and we did not get the fast passes, and it is packed today, so I think we're gonna immediately get those. Oh yeah, look, there's already a million people in there. We need to get them. We've made it! Yay! Ice cream couscous. <laughs> We decided against the H2O pass. I look so funny uh, because all the rides say five minutes right now and there's not that many rides here anyway. So we might as well just try to go on all of them instead of spending another $100. All right, we're getting our locker and we're going to start going on the rides. All right, you guys are in the case. It's working. It looks clear. I think we got it. Ride number one, Dinosaur Falls. Look how clear it is. First ride. I feel like such a bean, wet rat. But we got our double thing. Yay! Aww. Thank you. <laughs> is no tube, just your body. So we're gonna have to go separately. We'll see how it goes. And the last one was a number two and this is a number three, right? So it's a little scarier. This one is aggressive. We have to sit like that. I'm not gonna be able to film this one. <laughs> I have to be safety first. Okay, that last one was so fun. Now we're going on Hyper Light, which has like music and lights in it. And we can go on together. We got a double. So excited. Love that for us. So fun. Having so much fun. Next up, Alien Invasion. Oh my god, I don't even know if they can hear the audio with this thing on. I didn't even think of that. Oh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. Unedited, so that's what they get. <laughs> All right, I'm taking you guys out of the case, and I just realized you probably couldn't hear anything I was saying, so I'll have to do some sort of edit just on that. But we just stopped for lunch. We got some popcorn chicken, buffalo chicken. Zane got a beer, got a water. Yum, $53. <laughs> Insane. <laughs> Insane. But it's beautiful out. Loving it. Having so much fun. Lazy River time. <laughs> it's cold. Where's the sunlight? I know. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite part. <laughs> Woo! Yay! Lazy River. Lazy River. Last ride is the one that you stand on a clear platform and then it just drops you. <laughs> oh boy. The floor drops and then you just go straight down. Oh, scary. <laughs> Whoa!
Best way to end this day, dipping dots, heading home. It got cold now, because we're soaking wet, <laughs> freezing. It is 6.40 p.m. I will update you guys on the day, but for now, I need to take <laughs> a shower so bad. I feel so gross. I need to wash this hair. Hopefully, I didn't destroy it, but I'm going to take a nice shower, and then I'll come back to you guys, and I'll fill you in, okay? Okay, hello. I have on a face mask. Um, I just had the best shower. I exfoliated, like, literally, look how pale I am, especially on this side of my arm. I exfoliated every last bit of tanner off, so we're gonna get on a fresh one tonight or tomorrow. <laughs> I feel a piece of a hair. I think I got it. Oh, Bella's meowing. Um, sorry, unedited, gross. I would edit that out, but mm, we're not um okay had such a fun day i felt like literally i felt like a little kid walking around uh i keep wanting to call it six flags splish flash it was so fun i think honestly one of the things i got the most joy out of was seeing all the like five six year olds running around like they get so excited they can't even contain their body and they're just like <laughs> like that and i just think it's the cutest thing ever so he was like oh my god are you having like kid fever right now and i was like kind of they're so damn cute um but, except for when they throw their tantrums right but I just thought it was so cute to see all the kids just so like wholesome and like innocent having so much fun why is this not like staying stay on my face so that was really cute um had so much fun on the rides I tried to get some clips so I hope that it was somewhat entertaining um and what was I gonna say oh I thought that the case would make you not hear but I actually just watched back some of the videos and you could actually hear me quite decently so hopefully that was good I look kind of terrifying right now, sorry. Um, what else did I want to say? Oh, I never gave my Dunkin' Donuts review. The wake up egg wrap thing was gross. It tasted like rubber gloves, but the donut got like a glazed donut and it really surprised me because usually I feel like their donuts are like dry and nothing. Like um, no like softness, no flavor. And that glazed donut compared to Krispy Kreme. And that's a big statement coming from me because I love Krispy Kreme. So 10 out of 10 on that. We got some lunch, it was pretty good. What else did I wanna fill you guys in on? The, the, some of the rides were so fun. They had a new one that like, was kind of like a roller coaster. Like it, the, the bottom of it like pushed the float along. So you went really fast and there was like dips and stuff. You guys are dirty, huh? Let me clean you. Um, I see little spots on here and on the screen. There we are. So that was really fun. And then the last one that we ended with it's their new one it's called bombs away you stand on like a clear platform and then the platform just like drops from under you it was really scary but i'm glad that we did it and it was so funny because there was a kid before us so sweet he got on it he's like um i actually don't want to go on this anymore and the guy was like hold on hold on the ride operator and he was like just one second and then he just dropped it on him i was like that's messed up he's like that's my favorite part of my job which i think it's nice because he helps people like face their fears but also like if they want to get off they should get off but at the same time they probably get to the bottom of the slide and they're like oh that wasn't so bad and they're happy like they did it um but yeah such a fun day i felt like a little kid and it was so nice at the end i just kind of stopped filming because i'm like you guys are just gonna see underwater so that was that the phone case was great too like as far as i know my phone is in great condition so it was like ten dollars for two of them so i will link those down below um what else i'm about to attempt to give myself a blowout I'm gonna do it now when my hair is soaking wet. I think last time I let it dry too much. So I'm actually gonna try it with my other, um, no, should I try it with a Dyson Airwrap? I think I might try it with a blow dryer instead. Cause that's what like hair artists, like hair salons do. And I feel like if I wanted to look at hair salon, I should just do what they do. And maybe the Dyson Airwrap just ain't it. I'm not sure. So maybe I'll try that. <sighs> but I feel so nice and relaxed. Now it's 7.40. I think we're gonna probably get dinner out because we already ate out today and we didn't take out any meat to cook or we don't really have anything to frost in and anything planned to cook. We don't really have that many groceries right now anyway. We have like pasta, that's about it. I mean, maybe I can make like a nice light pasta. That might be good. We'll see. But first, I'm gonna get this hair done before it dries too much. So... I'm gonna go get the um, blow dryer. Hi, Bella. And I will update you on how that goes. I'm gonna start making my to-do list for tomorrow. 
today I like obviously took off for most of the day so I want to get situated with work and everything and I can't like why why I can't wait to get on a fresh tan and feel fresh with no fresh hair and everything it's gonna feel nice okay see you in a bit all right here's the final result I think we are getting a little bit closer now to the product that we want I put some oil in it, I put some products in it, it looks nice and silky. I think we're getting there. Oh my god, also we have the coolest PR package I'm going to show you right now. But yes, I'm covering my face because I'm so pale right now. I need to put on some tan. Okay, let me show you the package. Hi Belly, how are you? Check it out, I got a package from them before. And they sent another one, MMC Fabric Care. So they basically um, represent all of these companies, which is so exciting. And they sent me a restock. Ah! I'm literally obsessed with these. These smell phenomenal. Uh, the lavender one is really good too. This is a new scent that we're going to try. Very excited. So thank you so much to them. Literally love Tide. Been buying it for years. So it's very full circle. I'm obsessed. Oh, by the way, I don't even think I said I ended up using the Dyson Airwrap because I feel like this should work. I just need to figure it out. But I looked up some TikTok tutorials and I did like one section at a time, one way. I twisted it the other way. So I just want to use this because I feel like, I don't know, I paid like $600 for this thing. So I should. <laughs> All right. Zane just went and picked up some Chinese takeout. I got beef chow fun. And of course, I have my... General Tao sauce on the side. Honestly, I'm not super duper hungry, so a lot of this will be saved for leftovers. But watching the bear on Hulu. Good night. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I feel so much better now today. Hair is nice and clean. Uh, I got my tan on. We're feeling better. Um, oh, one thing yesterday that I forgot to mention about Splish Splish too is. We were like back and forth on getting the H2GO pass so that you can skip the lines. 100% I would get it next time. 100%. Most of the lines were like 30 minutes until it got more crowded. And then we waited on one for like an hour and a half. No, absolutely not. Like the pass was so worth it. Everyone was just, everyone that had the pass was just like walking right by us. I was like, oh my God, I am so sad we didn't do that. So definitely would do that next time. But, um... We have the podcast today, so I'm going to get my workout done first because if I don't, it just messes up my whole day. So we're going to do our morning routine, take our supplements, gratefuls, you know the vibe. And then I'm going to go change into some workout clothes and get this workout in. I think I might try to curl my hair. Tonight I'm taking Zane's little sister out to dinner. It's our little hangout. She's like doing little hangouts with like all of her friends and stuff before she leaves next week. So we wanted to have some one-on-one -on -one time. So we're gonna go out to dinner tonight. So I'm like, when I get ready, maybe I'll throw some curls in the hair and try a little different style, like little weaves or something. So yeah, that'll be fun. But um, yeah, basically just work out, get some work done. I have to make a nail appointment because I need to get a pedicure and get these nails done. I think I might do a light color this time. I was looking back at my old nails and I like the simple designs that I did and then there was like some like simple colors I did as well I need water hold on so yeah debating on that um but it is 8 41 a.m record podcast at 9 30 so I need to get my butt downstairs working out usually takes me like 30 40 minutes if I have to shower after the podcast that's fine I have to rinse off this tan clearly um so yeah that's the plan. Today is cloudy. It's going to rain later. I did get a hammock that we're going to put together, but that's going to be tomorrow because I'm not putting it together just for it to rain, you know? Um, what else? Ah, I don't know. I think that's it for now. Let's do our gratefuls. Okay. What is today? The 10th. Time is flying, like how is it August 10th already? I mean, fall is my favorite time of year, so I'm not mad at it. We've all had a shit summer though, so I'm like, am I ready to give up the sunshine and summer weather? Not really, because we haven't had much of it. We've had a lot of rain and clouds. Um, okay, what are we grateful for today? I am grateful for reset showers. 
I feel so nice after that shower yesterday. Um, grateful for... Hurry up, Alyssa, get it together. Our fridge, because the fact that that pitcher just refills itself is so convenient. Um, and I'm grateful for my body. I'm bleeding for the first time in a very long time because my previous birth control method made me not bleed. And although it's annoying now, I have to get used to, which I actually should do that. Um, I have to get used to wearing tampons again, TMI, but it just feels like my body's doing what it should. Like it should be, you know, bleeding. And I'm stopping my body from doing that. And I feel like my body should be like shuddering, shedding the lining. So I'm grateful that my body's doing its thing, you know? Even though it's going to be a pain in the ass now going forward, but that's just being a girl. Okay, I'm going to go get changed and work out. This closet room is a disaster. It needs to be tidy today. But quick moisturizer because I'm going to ice roll while I'm starting my workout on the bike. Kill two birds with one stone. Today's upper body day, so I'm like, you know what? I'm staying in the pajama pants and I put on like a simple lightweight tank top that's it sometimes you just need to stay in the pjs to work out and you have to just accept that also i got these really cute new clips from amazon because now i can clip my hair up because with the extensions it was hard because it would just like go into my extensions and it would hurt i mean it's probably doable but i never just did it but it was a bunch of it came with a bunch of square ones and then like claw clip ones. So I'm gonna use one of these while I work out. When I get hot, I can clip my hair up. For now, she's gonna stay right there. And I bring my ice roller. And we're going downstairs because we're running out of time. Okay, let's go. Starting with the bike, of course. Getting some things done on my phone. We're doing good. I'm glad I'm doing this right now because I don't want to do it later. Okay, we have completed the workout. This is funny that I'm in pajama pants. But honestly, they're so comfy. They're the perfect tanning pants, but I'm ice rolling again. Clip, I love. 10 out of 10. I'm sweating. I'm going to throw on my big baggy t-shirt again so we can record the podcast. And then I will rinse this tanner off. It looks so good. I use the um, Loving Tan. My tanner is coming off because this is like wet now. So it's like... <laughs> going off on ice roller um i use loving tan platinum and it's just the darkest one that i can get because my my skin soaks up tanner like a sponge for some reason so i'll always have to apply like two layers or whatever this one is like one and done and i love that convenience so amazing okay let's go record the pod take a quick shower and i'll come back to you guys yay all right podcast is done we just had some lunch now i am brushing bailey <laughs> look at this she this is literally like a hard clump that's how much hair i've gotten off of her but look she is enjoying it so much it's hysterical ready ready bailey oh it's so nice look it just keeps coming off of her she's shutting so bad oh now she's distracted by the puff i'm gonna hold that okay look that's so nice look it just comes off of her Oh my god, short-haired cats are just like a whole nother ball game. Oh, okay. Goodbye. <laughs> One more? Let's show them how you're getting all cracked. Show them. <gasps> wow. <laughs> Watch. She loves it. Oh, is that so good? So good. It's coming off like crazy. And this Furminator, you're not supposed to press down hard. I'm literally just going on like the surface of her fur because you don't want to scratch them because it's pretty strong. But if I just go on like the top layer, it just keeps coming off. It's insane. And Benji and Bella would be running off by now, but her, oh, she loves this. She gets excited when she sees the brush come out. Look at my shirt. <laughs> Do you see my shirt? I'm about to take a shower, it's fine. Put it in the laundry, but literally covered. Covered in Bailey. Oh my God, I need to like brush it off with my shirt. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. 
Tis time for a quick little body shower. Then I have some packages to show you. Then we're gonna get ready for the night. Going out to Zena. I am taking Zane's little sister, Aaliyah, out to dinner. We wanna do like a little one-on-one -on -one hangout before she goes away to college next week. So I'm taking her out to a new spot that I've never been before, so I will share. I think I told you guys this before already, I can't remember, but anyways. And I take a shower, and then I'll be back. Okay, out of the shower, so fresh and so clean. I just tried on this Amazon tank. I got them in a bunch of colors, but I haven't tried this one on yet, and I'm like, ooh, it might look like I'm naked, but I feel like with my tan, it looks pretty good. So we kept her on. Um, have some unboxing for you guys, unboxings for you guys. So glad I tanned yesterday. I feel like a little glazed donut chicken nugget, and I'm here for it. This one, we have to open first. It's perishable, as you can see. I am so excited. I Okay, so if, you, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know, slow it down, Alyssa. I feel like with no edits, I have to like rush talking like I don't. Um, if you've been watching my vlogs, you know that Zane and I's, one of our favorite things to make in meal prep is yogurt pizza dough. I've been making it for so many years, like I think pre-pandemic even. Everyone uses that as like a timeline, but yeah, I think even before that. But I came across this brand and I was like, Oh my god, I need to try that. It's called Yo. It's yogurt pizza dough, but like pre-made. Making the yogurt pizza dough is my least favorite part because it's such a mess. It's crafty. It gets sticky. It's so much flour. It's just a lot. It's a lot. But once it's all prepped, it's easy. You can freeze it and stuff. But I saw this company. I was like, oh my god, I want to try that so bad. And they were so nice and sent a package. So we're about to open it up. I have no idea what they sent, but here we go. This is right up Zane and I's alley. Like, we love this stuff. I'll try not to show my address. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God, so exciting. So it's all made with Greek yogurt. I think this is what's in there, but we'll unbox so that it's fun. Ooh, we've got a tote bag. How cute is that? <laughs> yogurt dough. And it came in like a cooler. Woo. Love that noise. Okay, so we've got, oh my God, it's already pre-made. We don't even have to put toppings on it. They sell like the dough by itself, but these they sent are pre-made freaking pizzas. Oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, so this is turkey pepperoni, yum. Then we've got just mozzarella. And then we've got, oh, naked pizza crust. All right, that one, you can put whatever you want on it. <laughs> the branding is really funny. So we've got all three of those. I think that's everything that's in here, but let me double check. Whoa, dry ice. Ow, that was so cold, it like burned. Oh wait. There's some other stuff. Oh, oh, it's so cold. Hold on. There's something else down here. Oh, I'm so glad I. So cold. I'm so glad I made sure I looked because I don't want anything to go to waste. Oh my god, a bicycle pizza cutter. <laughs> that is hysterical. I'm gonna be careful so I don't cut myself. And everything is freezing ice cold. I have to give it a second because I can hurt myself actually. Uh, okay, and then we've got, yeah, a little thing of their dough. I knew that they, look at that. Can you see it like puffing off the dry ice? It's kind of cool. See that? Um, this is really cool. It's already made. <gasps> Amazing. I'm so excited. Zane is gonna be so excited about this. Okay, let me make sure. Not letting nothing go to waste. Okay, now that's everything. The pizza cutter, I'm dead. I'm trying not to hurt myself here. It's like literally has like, oh, it's frozen. Everything has to defrost. That is hysterical. You cut your pizza. I love that. Okay, um, amazing. Thank you so much, yo. 
for sending this over i think this is genius the branding and everything i think it's so cute like you did such a great job because when i saw this i was like i need to try and you guys are so nice to send some stuff over. So thank you so much. Okay, we have another box behind me. So let me switch a room. This next box is unexpected. It's another box from Drew Barrymore's brand, Beautiful, that's sold at Walmart. Love me some Walmart. But I showed you guys the pan that I got from them and the chair in the last vlog. And I was like, oh my God, that's so nice of them. Like, amazing. Um, when they had reached out to send some stuff, I just send like a bunch of options to brands and whatever they want to send, they send. It's totally up to them. Whatever's in stock, whatever. You, you send like, you know, an email of options. I think they send everything, which usually the brand just picks like one or two items that they want to send. I think they send me a giant box of more stuff. So we've got a new toaster. I was joking around. I just told my manager, I'm like, um, my kids are going to be so stocked up in the upstairs uh, kitchen like my future children are already gonna have a toaster an air fryer they have a slow cooker up there they have everything already hopefully it all works by the time they're old enough to use it but i get to keep all the new stuff and then i can move our older items upstairs to stock it up so we've got a new toaster and how beautiful is that the black with the gold stunning so i'm so excited for that and it's got like a touch screen display it's so cool so okay there's that what else do we got oh my god like this is so kind of them <gasps> what is this <gasps> hold on a second a fondue set wait i'm so excited um i almost just like hit myself in the face with that unedited vlogs are kind of like um like a live stream. <gasps> okay, I picked this. I just dropped it in. I picked this because this is something that we don't own and I feel like it's something that we would use at like gatherings and stuff. <gasps> like melted chocolate or cheese or something. It's a fondue, a fondue, electric fondue set. So you like put it on and you can melt cheese, you can melt um chocolate what else would you put in there i don't know that's the only things that i can think of but how freaking cool i love a good kitchen gadget you guys know me and now we have the built-in so i can fit so many more kitchen gadgets over there and we have the upstairs kitchen we can store stuff in as well oh okay they also sent over a blender which believe it or not we don't own <laughs> we have a food processor and we have like a ninja bullet but we don't have a blender so let's see this it's heavy oh beautiful ah no pun intended because that's what our brand is called wow this is cool love it look how cute i love her branding wow um so thank you so much to drew barrymore and her team for sending all of these things over you know me you know these will good to go to good use and i can't wait to make something beautiful come on okay leaving in just a little bit to go get Aaliyah to go out to dinner so i'm gonna do a quick makeup i was gonna do my hair but it is actually raining quite bad so i'm like it's just gonna get wet and get ruined anyway from the humidity and the grossness outside so not even gonna bother i blew it out last night so she'll be fine i'm just gonna do some brow gel first i'm taking her to a place that i've never been to before they don't take reservations so we are gonna hope sorry i just opened instagram and just start playing audios um it's called bongo burrito it is in Seaford on Long Island. It's like newer, I think. It's like a newer establishment. Um, so we're just going to hope that we can get a table for the two of us. I think we should be fine. It's a Thursday night. If not, there'll be plenty of places to go. Or we just wait 20 minutes, whatever we have to wait. So I'm excited for that. It looks really good. They have a lot of fun tacos, burritos, a bunch of stuff like that. Aaliyah loves 
um, Mexican food. So I think it's perfect. And she asked me to surprise her because she's, I was like, pick where you want to go. Like my treat, I'm taking you out before you leave for college. And she was like, I'm indecisive. I was like, okay, I'll surprise you. So I was like, let's go somewhere new. I love to try new places. And I found that and I was like, perfect. We'll have fun. It's a little bit of a drive, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, just doing a quick get ready. I think I'm just going to leave on this tank top and throw on like a pair of jeans or something. I will show you guys when I get dressed. All right, happy with this. Quick little natural makeup. Literally like five, six minutes it took me. And then I just ran the air wrap through my hair quick. And that's it. Probably, probably put a little, like, what? Probably put a little bit of dry shampoo to add a little bit of volume. And I'm gonna put on some pants. And I think we're ready to go. It sounds like it is coming down in the rain though. So that's not fun. I'll show you guys my outfit once I get dressed. All right, I'm ready. I promise tomorrow I will be cleaning this room. <laughs> but just got dressed real quick. I kept on that Amazon tank. I'm wearing my Abercrombie jeans. And then I just threw on these boots. Where are these from? Oh, these are Target. Uh, it's raining. So I was like, let me go for the boots. And then I have on my purse. And I'm bringing this rain jacket that I'm about to put on right now because it is raining. Um, I'm going to go pick up Aaliyah. And then we're gonna head to dinner. I'm so excited. One on one girl time before she leaves. Sad. What do you like, not like? What do you do like? Maybe. Let's do a cheersies. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Well, hello everyone. I am at home looking like a glazed donut. I got some clips at the restaurant and I forgot that I was doing unedited. <laughs> I was like thinking montage clips. So there were just like, just plain clips. I didn't talk or anything terrible, but we got, um, we shared a few items. We got the mac and cheese, we got a crunch wrap and we got the birria tacos and it was all so delicious. We did have to wait a little bit because they don't take reservations and they were just busy. We came at like prime time, but they were so apologetic. Like when we were waiting, like so many people passed us so many times. They're like, we're so sorry. Like a few more minutes. We're so sorry. The table isn't getting up. They just ordered dessert now. And they're like, we're sorry. So they were really nice about it. Um, and the food was delicious and the atmosphere was so cute. They had like monkeys hanging from the ceiling for like the light fixtures and there was like greenery everywhere it was really nice and the food came out in like literally like five minutes they brought it out so fast so um yeah really really enjoyed it and the prices were really good too Aaliyah and I had such a nice time it was so nice to have like one-on-one -on -one time before she goes away next week but now I'm home and in bed I'm all skin cared up and I will see you guys tomorrow we have a lot to do tomorrow it's gonna be a busy one so I need to get some sleep Good morning, happy Friday. It's 9.05 a.m. The landscapers are here, taking my birth control. Um, I spent the morning on my phone in bed. I did some Amazon shopping for some things. And then I also um, became obsessive over the aura ring. <gasps> I think I'm gonna do it, you guys. I'm an Apple Watch gal, but I'm just sick of it. I think it's just not, it's just ugly. Like, <laughs> not that it's ugly, but like, I just don't wanna have to wear this giant watch on my wrist every day. But I like, like it, you know, in the aspect of my steps and workouts and stuff like that. And apparently, like I've been doing a lot of research on the aura ring, it tracks like your ovulation and your sleep and all these things and basically does what the Apple Watch does. Obviously you can't like text on it, there's no screen. It's just, it literally looks like this. So I think I might just get the same size as this and replace this ring because I'm used to wearing it on this finger anyway. And they say to wear them, wear like the ring on these three. Pointer is recommended, but I just don't know. I'd rather just put it on a ring that I'm used to sleeping with and wearing all the time. Like I never take this ring off. So, I think I'm gonna do it. I might stop at Best Buy and do like the sizer so I don't have to wait for it to come in the mail. I'm looking a little bit rough right now. I need to like style this hair, otherwise it's just not doing what it needs to do. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about it now. So now I like wanna act on impulse and get it. And I just think it'll be so much better to not wear this all the time. I'm like, no, uh-uh. 
So yeah, that was what I did this morning. I need to do my workout. Hello. There we go. And I need to do my workout, get it done. And then I have so much to do. I need to get the vlog up. I need to post an Instagram story brand deal. I need to get my nails done at 12:30, which is a manicure and a pedicure. So it's going to take a while. Um, I got a hammock for outside that I want to put together with you guys. Um, and we have to start prepping for vacation. So I want to get this vlog starting to be prepped to go. So that while I'm gone, it goes up on Tuesday. Ah. Um, what else? We don't have to cook because we're going to try those yogurt pizza dough pizzas and I'm really excited about that probiotic cranberry uh, birth control okay um yeah anyways okay sorry that's that I'm gonna go do my gratefuls gratefuls see I'm gonna be oh my god I do it all the time last night when we went to dinner I didn't wear it because I just didn't want to wear it with my outfit and I literally like went like this I'm like mm, don't have it on my wrist so I'm not gonna be used like I'm gonna have to get used to not being able to check the date and the time quite frequently but I can also just get like a regular watch and it could do that too and it would like look nicer but also do I want a big clunky thing on my wrist not really so anyways I just feel like I'm growing out of the Apple watch stage you know what I mean okay what are we grateful for um upgrades because we're gonna upgrade from the Apple Watch to the Aura Ring. And I'll put Aura Ring in parentheses. What else are we grateful for? Um, um, fresh nails, going to get my nails done today. I When I do my gratefuls, I look at like my calendar and my pictures to see if anything sparks a grateful. I will put PR packages because we got so much good stuff. I can't wait to use it all. PR packages. Okay, grateful. It's checked off the list. I'm gonna get my ice roller, get on my workout clothes, and we're gonna go do our hit workout. Fun. Workout fit. I clipped my hair up with my new Amazon clips. I'm loving them. I put on like a high intensity sports bra. And then my biker shorts. These are guests, and this is Yvette. And I'm wearing really sexy black socks. <laughs> I'm gonna put on my sneakers. I don't really care what I look like when I work out from home. I do prefer to work out in my workout clothes though, but sometimes you just have to go in your pajamas like yesterday. It just is what it is, but okay. I'm gonna get this workout done. And then I need to get to editing. Uh, I made my nail appointment for 12.30, which was not very smart. I should have made it for a little bit later so that I can get my vlog up first, but I wanted to beat the crazy time at the nail salon when everyone gets out of work. So I was like, let me go earlier on a Friday, you know? Anyways, okay. Ciao for now. <laughs> Alright, workout done. I'm just feeling like walking for a little bit while I edit. So I'm going to set up my treadmill. Cups of ranch dressing. I have more on the downstairs. This is the ranch dressing. Which you already know I'm going to get every last drop out of this look. Perfection. I need to leave in my what? Perfection. <laughs> I need to leave for my nail appointment very shortly. I got the whole vlog edited. It needs to be watched back, thumbnail, all that, but I can do that when we get back. At least I got the gist of it all edited. I need to do an Amazon return, get my nails done, and I think I'm gonna stop at Best Buy in size for the aura ring so I can get it ordered. We'll see. I should come back and do this and then go back out and do that realistically. So that's probably what I'll have to do. Let me get my work done first and then we can go do that a little later. Right? What? He just wants all the love. I was just holding him and petting him. Right? I love you. All right, I just put on a little bit of makeup. I ran a straightener through my hair, put in some dry shampoo, and I feel a little bit more put together. I feel like just, even just running a straightener quick through it just makes like the world of a difference. Now it actually looks like it could be down instead of like a hot mess, like frizzy and stuff, but I have to run. I'm gonna grab a little breakfast something to go, like a little breakfast bar or something because I have to get to the nail salon and bring my Kindle. 
and I'm gonna get a pedicure and a manicure. I think I'm gonna do something with sage green. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see when I get there. Just let the colors speak to me. Do my Amazon return, come back, get work done. I'll come back to you guys when I have something exciting, okay? All right, here's what I ended up getting on my nails. I'm still trying to figure out the base color. I did one coat of like a nude and I feel like it's still a little pink for my liking, but I'll show you in like natural lighting here. I did like a seafoam green French for the end of summer. And then I am ready, baby, for the fall colors, like browns, dark colors, yes. But figured I'd have a little bit of fun. I haven't done like a, I mean, it's just French, but like a design in a while. So we went for that and then just white on the toes always. I got gel so it stays for a long time. I am just now having some leftover meatloaf from the other night. I'm probably gonna have some chips and hummus too. And then I'm gonna watch back my vlog and get this uploaded. Okay, work is done. My vlog is uploaded. Now it is time to, well, first of all, I'm having a snack. I'm having some Lidl crackers with some hummus. It's going to be my little midday snack. Zane is out playing tennis. Once he gets back, we're going to try the um, yogurt pizza dough or the yogurt pizza. That's what we're going to have for dinner. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Um, but for now, sorry, counting these. Eight. 9, 10. Okay. Can't do two things at once. I'm getting old. Okay. Um, for now, exciting. I got a hammock for outside. I'm not I'm feeling insecure today about my face. I think I need to put on tanner tonight because that always makes me feel better. But I'm feeling like I wanted to go like this. But, you know, we're pushing through. Um, so we're going to go build my hammock, which I'm so excited about. The summer is slowly coming to an end and fall is my absolute favorite so i want to enjoy like the days in the shade of that beautiful weather you can go lay outside on the hammock in like a hoodie and sweatpants i'm just really excited about it so we're gonna put that together and then we're gonna clean up this house because i have my stuff everywhere like none of it stains it's all my junk i have a load of laundry in the dryer i have all the stuff in my closet room. I have all my packages that we unpacked yesterday in the um, dining room, so it just needs to be taken care of. But anyways, um, this is my snack. So I'm gonna go sit outside, enjoy this. I'm gonna put some of this in the pool to clear up the cloudiness. I have to figure out how much to put. One fluid ounce for every 2,500 gallons. Okay, I'm gonna do some math, but we put that in the pool and we're gonna spend some time outside, build the hammock and whatever. That's the plan. I just did the math on how much we need of this and we need four fluid ounces. So I'm gonna use my liquid measuring cup. Hopefully that's not gross. Hopefully I can just clean it out and it'll be fine. Well, I don't know why I'm weighing it because I'm measuring it in here, but I actually wanna see if it's the same as the ounces on this scale. So I need four ounces of this into our pool and this better clear up the cloudiness. And then we'll be good to go. And then our pool will be back to normal. If I can get this off. Hello. Okay, I'm poking a hole with my new nails. Good. All right. Four fluid ounces. Oh, she thick. Oh my God. The one on the scale is the same as the liquid one. Why does everyone always say it's different? I guess it depends on the liquid. Like maybe this is heavy. Oh wow, so we'll get a lot out of this bottle. This bottle was like 20 bucks, so. All right, let's go put this in the pool. All right, so here's what our pool's looking like. You can see the bottom a little bit here, but on the deep end, it's just cloudy. So I'm gonna put this in here. Make sure to put it near the filter on each side. Oh, I'm scared of the bugs. Look how dirty that got, ew. Like it's getting a little better. You can kind of see the edges, but it should be crystal clear. So let's hope that this works. It just says to run the filter for eight hours after you put it in. That's not that much, but I made sure that we had the right amount. Oh, you know what? I should put the pool vacuum in here, too. Oh, it's out here. It needs to be charged, doesn't it? All right. I gotta go put that on the charger. I'm gonna just dip this in here to get it all out. 
of the container. Lovely. Oh, it is so beautiful out. I've got the hammock right here. I got it from Amazon. It was like 100 bucks, 110 bucks. So hopefully it's good. <laughs> but it is just a white one with the like black metal. So let's open her up for some impressions. So here is what the actual hammock looks like. It's like a knit one. I didn't want to get one that was like flat fabric because I feel like the weather would ruin that more and like water could like sit on it. And I feel like this one is more, you know, it has like holes in it. So it won't get as gross, hopefully. That's my logic. Okay, actually this looks quite simple. I don't even think I have to do any screws. It just like kind of pin locks into place. And these are all the parts. It's not even that much. This is where I want to put it. The only thing is I am very frightened by going under this tree for like spiders coming down. So maybe we can give it like a bug spray or something. <laughs> but this is like the nice like shady area. I mean, I could put it over here too, like not directly under the tree. We have like this whole space. So, I mean, it can be moved around once it's built, obviously. So I'm just gonna build it and then we'll go from there. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and take off all this plastic. Get it all situated. Whoa! That's a big mosquito. Oh my God. Hopefully I come out here because I'm going to be scared of the bugs. That's for sure. Okay, that's one of the legs. I liked that noise. I feel like this should be fairly simple, right? Whoa. Okay, don't lose things now. Alright. Everything is out. I'm already getting chewed up by mosquitoes. Huge! Why are they so large? <laughs> I gotta get my centronella candle. Oh, now I'm all dirty. Okay. We're not doing well already. All right, here we go. I got the two bars laid out on the floor. I'm gonna connect the bar in the middle. Try to do this as quick as possible without boring you guys. Oh, that lighting just got horrible. Here? Hold on. Okay, going. Bugs won't leave me 
quickly, right guys? Not too bad. Okay. This came off the top. This one. The reviews did say you have to pull it nice and tight, so we're gonna try. Oh no, you guys are dying. Okay, I'm gonna try quickly. Um, okay, well, I got it secured on each side. <laughs> it's very high up, but I guess it's supposed to be like that, so when you sit on it, it will move downwards, like, you know? I'm definitely gonna have to bring a blanket out here. I'm literally getting so chewed up. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go change your battery, and we're gonna try to sit on it. <laughs> oh god, I'm scared. Okay, here we go. This is about to be comical, and the fact that I can't even edit it is gonna be even better, so let's try. Oh boy. No, I'm not in the middle enough. Oh, I see why it's so high. I am low to the ground. Oh, once it gets broken in more, it's gonna move down. I already see it sinking in from me sitting on it. Hold on, wait, look. This is gonna be the setup, ready? Great. 
Anyways, yeah. Okay. Whoa. Um, I finally started the book Regretting You. Haven't had time to read it all, so I started it today at the nail salon. I'm only 20 pages in, but so far so good. <laughs> okay, well, there's my hammock. Hope you guys enjoyed. She's very my style, and my Kindle is weighing it down, apparently. <laughs> What's happening? Cute. I like it. And that was very easy to put together, so 10 out of 10 in my book. I'll let you guys know if I end up falling off <laughs> or falling through it because it was so affordable. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my god, I'm getting eaten alive. I need to get bug spray, and I need to put out tiki torches, and I need to light the Centronella candle. Anyways, Zane's on his way home, so I'm gonna go inside and preheat the oven for the pizza, take a quick shower while it's in the oven, and then we'll do a taste test. Yay! We're gonna do this one and the pepperoni one. We're gonna split both of them. So, 450. I did not get to go to the store, by the way to look at the aura ring, so maybe tomorrow if we're feeling frisky. Um, okay, then they just go on the middle, on the rack, like directly on the rack, 10 to 15 minutes, which our oven is usually a little bit weak, so we'll see how long it takes, but I'm gonna unbox them with you guys. Let's see. Let's see them here. Sorry, I don't know what's with me, you guys. Like, I love, like, the moody lighting. I hate the harsh overhead lights. Hello? Oh. Yum. me up it's like the perfect size i love it i'm gonna hop in the shower once these go in the oven so while it's preheating i'm gonna start to clean up oh i made a mess everywhere look at it there's boxes in here everywhere Ooh, but i can't freaking montage you guys because it's stupid <laughs> i'm just kidding i like no edits it's fun it's just easy for me to not have to edit when i have shit to do um, okay, so here's the before and after. So much better. Oh, broke down all the cardboard, it's all in one big box, and I took all my appliances out of the packages. Oh, look how exciting this is. I'm about to replace the toaster. I already know what I'm gonna make in this. First things first, pesto. I'm gonna use all of our fresh basil that we have outside so it doesn't go to waste. It is massive. I don't know why it's growing so well, but I'm not gonna question it. And I'm gonna make us some fresh pesto and make some pasta. Probably when we get back from our little vacay this week. Um, and then this I'm so excited about too. This is so nice. Look how freaking cute. It comes with all the little sticks to put on little pretzels, strawberries, whatever you want. So I think Zane and I are gonna have to do a little date night. I asked you guys on Instagram what to get and you said beer cheese. So probably like, you know, a grocery store, obviously. I was gonna say Trader Joe's, but I can get it at any grocery store, I'm sure. So we'll do that, we'll do cheese, we could do chocolate. Cheese is more my jam for sure. Um, but I wanna test it out and this would be great for like a gathering, like for Zane's birthday party, we can like put out chocolate and I can just make an array that's so easy of like strawberries, marshmallows, like stuff like that. I think that would be awesome. So, yep, very excited about this. <laughs> Poster is under here, so we're gonna move this one upstairs for guests and future children. Still a great toaster, love her, but this is an upgrade. Look at her. Oh. And it's still the four holes, which I like, so that Zane and I can make toast at the same time. So that's gonna go right here. I should probably vacuum out all those crumbs, huh? Oh, hopefully the cabinet closes. Okay, we're good. Yay! Oh, I must have missed it. Also, the oven is preheated, so let's put those on the rack.
Okay, Google. Set a timer for 10 minutes called pizza. Sure, a 10 minute timer called pizza. Starting now. <laughs> I'm going to start with 10 and see how that goes because I don't want to overdo it either. So I'd rather check halfway through. Cute. Check them out. And you already know I have my bicycle right here. <laughs> okay. Amazing. We love a frozen dinner. And that means I am gonna go run and take a really quick body shower before that timer is up. Zane's about to walk in the door. So, perfect timing. Ow, I just dropped on something. The door thing, okay, here we go. All right, okay. I need to wash off all those bugs that were touching me. Ooh. All clean, got some tanner developing on the face and pizza is done. Look at her. Ooh. Yum. I'm gonna get these on some plates, get them cut up. Okay, actually, we don't even need to waste plates. I just put them right back on the cardboard. Let's see my uh, pizza cutter here. <laughs> Ow, it's hot. We need to eat it while it's hot, though. That's the rule. Oh, we got a nice crispy crust. Perfect. Okay, come on, bicycle. Do what you need to do. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Okay, got this one in half. Maybe I should be using both pieces? Oh, what? no. Okay, bad idea. Crispy. Okay, hold on. Okay. Ready? I'm trying to do this cool. Would you look at that? Perfect. Well, I should cut them in half too, though. I'll cut them this way as well without hurting myself. Okay. There we go. Oh. Okay. I'm so excited. I got some garlic powder because we always put garlic powder on our pizza, but we'll try it without first. Pepperoni? Absolutely. This is a cheat code. They did a good job. Are you kidding? They did a good job. Now I'm gonna put all my garlic powder on it. That's mm, yeah, crunch. Yeah. No, they crisped up really good. Oh my god. Mmm, with the garlic powder. I'm excited to do the one where we do it ourselves too. Oh yeah, that's right. They sent you a plain one, right? Put all our toppings crust. on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should have got fresh basil, basil from the garden. Mmm. I still could. You would never know it's yogurt pizza dough. No, actually. Mm -hmm. Tastes like when we make it. It is delicious, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay, update. So I feel like we left it in the oven just a little bit too long. It got like a little bit dried out. So I'm just um, dipping it in some heated up rails. So fire. So I think we're really going to like the naked pizza dough. So we can put our own sauce, our own cheese and toppings. Like I like to put a lot of veggies and stuff. I mean, you can still add on top of this, but still such a good base. I'm excited to try like the plain dough and make it our own too. But yeah, I'm dipping it in the rails and it's so good. Next on the list is the closet room. Here's the before. <laughs> and after. So much better, right, Belly? Amazing. Also, look what I just got in the mail. 
so excited. I got a new ponytail extension because I had other ones from Amazon and I looked at them and neither of them match my hair. And they're both like really cheapy, like synthetic. They were like knotted and gross. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna treat myself to a pony. So let's see, hopefully it matches. because This is an extension color that I've gotten with my hair color now. Okay, gonna do a quick pony on my hair. Okay, now let's see. So it just wraps around the ponytail. I'm still gonna attempt the clip-ins with the wefts that I have. If that doesn't work out, I'll just order them. I'm looking, I'm looking rough this vlog, you guys, whatever. Just is what it is. Um, okay, so here's what it looks like. And it's got like this piece that wraps around so you can't tell. So, ha, look at that, life hack. I'm just gonna like do it really quickly. I'm not gonna make it like look super pretty, but you'll get the point. I mean, that matches my hair. I'll bring you guys closer to the mirror here so I can see. Oh, yep. That is lovely, but I did not put it in correctly. <sighs> I have to like actually do it properly. I think it goes like here just gonna be a small learning curve I'll go on their website and look up how to do it regardless um, this is amazing because it's easy it's easier than like putting in a bunch of clip-ins and i wear my hair up a lot and i like the long ponytail look so this is perfect even if i have like something like an event or a gathering or something that i want to like do my hair for i can just slick it back and then put this as like a high pony done it looks like i have hair but <laughs> jokes on everyone because Wait, this is like anticlimactic. Jokes on everyone because that's my hair. <laughs> I love it. It's the perfect color. Perfect color. So I might order these <laughs> in the clip-in extensions uh, instead of wasting my time. Oh, actually, I just cleaned up this room. So I ended up putting my extensions on the thing that I got. So this is what color they were. Okay. Um, this is what color they were toned to. It isn't like super far off of this color that I ordered. Like I think if I styled these and curled them, it would look better. So, I don't know. But I really like this holder that I got on Amazon. Like they're very secure in here. I just need to like style them and see if they match. Because I paid like $400 for these. So I really don't want to like have to not... Like I would like to reuse them, you know? Like if we can put the clips on then why not have these as clip-ins? Um, but yeah, so that's like the new, but this is both Bellamy. Um, these are just the wefts, and this is like a regular extension. And before it's washed, it always has like that like shiny coat on it. So these just air dried, so they definitely need to be like styled, but the color is not like super far off. So I think if these were curled, we would be all right, you know? Where did this just come from? Oh, in my hair. I had it in my hair just now. Oh my god, let's get it together. Oh wow, I actually was just reading the back of this, and it's synthetic. I totally thought that this was real hair when I ordered it, because the K-tip extensions I get are real hair. But this is synthetic hair. Hmm. Interessante. Here's what I did over here. It's definitely not perfect, but um, I moved these sunglasses up, put some of my clips here, I might get another organizer for this wall for like hair hair stuff. 
I feel like I don't really have a spot to put like all my clips and my scrunchies and everything. I mean, I can make like a little basket in one of these shelves, I guess, because the top one is for purses and then the bottom two I'm using for hair items. So I guess that could make sense. Um, and then for now, these are not going to stay here because obviously it doesn't look pretty when you walk in and just see fake hair. But I just clipped this around here for now, my new pony, and then we've got the extensions. So that's that. Lastly is I have a load of athletics to put away, but tomorrow is another day. It is already 10, 13 p.m. I'm tired. I'm going to get a little snack and go to bed. All righty. We are all cleaned up. I've got my sippy. Don't worry, I'm going to rinse this off my face tomorrow and I won't look cuckoo. I've got my little snack. I'm going to read my book. We're getting ready for bed. And that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this unedited vlog. I feel like it was kind of hot mess express, but we made it through. Um, I will see you guys on Friday and it will be our vacation vlog. We are leaving Sunday morning to go to Pennsylvania with a bunch of family and we're gonna be riding a lake. We went last year, it was a lot of fun. You can go kayaking and just, and we're gonna just enjoy. So that'll be the next vlog, so look forward to that. We're gonna pack and everything tomorrow, so I will bring you guys along. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.